Welcome to Rescale. Today we'll be going through how to set up a simulation using Rescale's cloud simulation platform. First, open any web browser and go to platform.rescale.com. Here is where you can enter your login information, or if you do not have an account yet, follow the sign-up steps to create your Rescale account. Once you're logged into your account, the first page you'll see is what we call your main jobs dashboard. Here you can see any jobs you've saved, executed, or any jobs that have ever been shared with you. You can also view all the files you've added to the platform. Once you've uploaded a file to your account, it will always be there for you to use until you delete it yourself. To create a new job, click on the plus new job button in the top left corner. You want to make sure that you give each job a unique title so you can locate it later. For this job, we'll title it Open Foam Example 1. Here you can see the workflow for your job both visually as well as the written steps. This is for a basic single run job, however you can change the type by clicking on job type and selecting either DOE for design of experiment or optimization. We'll leave the type as basic for this job. The first step in the workflow process is to upload your input files. You can choose to upload existing files from your account or you can choose to add files from your local machine. You can find the files for this job at www.rescale.com resources. Select Getting Started and then Run a Basic Job from Job Types. This example is available in a written tutorial with the files included. Click on Choose Files and upload the file airfoil2d.tar.gz. While the file is uploading, you can track its progress in the transfer section at the top of your screen. There are two methods for file transfer, basic HTML or our built-in Java enhanced file transfer. Once the file is uploaded, you will see it listed down here. You can click the arrow button to move on to software selection. Here you'll see a full list of software available for you to use, including commercial, open source, and proprietary. You can either type in or scroll down until you reach the open source tool OpenFoam. With OpenFoam selected, you want to choose version 2.3.0 from the drop-down menu. Beneath that, in the command prompt, you want to enter the code-specific command to execute your job. For this simulation, you want to enter dot slash airfoil 2D slash all run. Next, you can move on to the hardware settings and choose your core type and set the number of cores to one. In the center, you'll see a hardware summary with your total RAM and storage, and on the far right, you'll see the hourly cost for the hardware. The next step in the workflow is an optional step to upload a post-processing script. However, we will not need that for this particular job. The final step is to review your setup. Here, you can either save your job or submit the simulation. Now that your job is submitted, you can monitor the progress on the status page. The platform will take a couple seconds to validate your input files, and then approximately two to five minutes to boot up the cluster. Once the job has begun to run, you can track the status in real time using live tailing. Just select the active run, and then you can view the output files as they are being generated directly in your browser. In addition to text, you can also view image and animation files. If at any time it looks like the job is not running properly, you can stop the simulation in two ways. First, you can click on the X next to the active run. This will stop the simulation and save your files so you can view them later. Or, if you need to quickly terminate the entire job, you can come up here and click on the red stop button. This will shut down the cluster and you will lose all files, but it is the quickest way to kill the entire job. And that is how you set up and run a basic simulation using Rescale's platform. Thank you.